has it been sitting out and not being able to play? Yeah, it's been difficult. I mean, throughout my career, this is probably the longest I've ever had to be, be out, um, which is pretty lucky. You know, it was only five, five months one time. Uh, the other time I was out for uh, eight weeks. Um, so, um, yeah, it's tough being out, but at, the, but at the same time, I'm pretty blessed in terms of throughout my career really not having to miss too much time. Clint, going back to last summer, when did you start not feeling right or not feeling yourself, and how worried were you initially? Uh, around February, and then, uh, you know, um, kind of progressed a little bit through, through the year and, and trying to figure out. Uh, what was going on. Felt good during Copa America. Um, then after Copa America, started feeling more stuff and, uh, you know, it caused me to be out for a while. And uh, now everything is feeling good again. So just looking forward to be back playing and do what I love to do. What were you feeling? Was it just a fatigue or, or was it a hard thing? What, what were yeah, you it was a hard issue. Um, but, uh, you know, it just, uh, it's, it's something that's difficult to kind of explain, but at the, but at the same time, um, not feeling those things anymore, and um, happy to be at, be back playing. Cliff, how did you stay grounded during the whole time? I mean, what kind of kept you, friends, teammates? I mean, what did you find? <clears throat> well, I mean, like I said, I've, I've been lucky throughout my career, not missing much time. So, um, you know, the, I'm at peace with with what I've done in my career. So I think that and. You know, I'm happy. I'm married, four kids. You know, so uh, I've, I've got to enjoy life, and um, you know, hopefully there's more life to enjoy. So, uh, but you know, I'm I'm happy. I'm at peace with you know my career, and I think that's kind of what, what, what keeps you grounded and just being around family. But uh, it's good to be back out here playing again. And, uh, I think there's more years to play, so uh, just want to enjoy it and 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 have my kids see me play a, a few more years. Do you have any idea when you? What will make you, outside of health, call it quits? I mean, a couple more years. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what I mean, will that take? I think my body got, you know, just a couple more years. That's about it. You know, it's been it's been a good run. So, uh, just right now, the focus is, is getting through this year, um, get back playing good again, and making an impact uh, on the field. What, what are the things you have to do daily to manage this so that you don't feel the way you did last year? Uh, it's just. Get, get good sleep, uh, eat well, take care of your body. Uh, this, this, some of the same stuff you you were doing before. Um, but I, I think, uh, you know, for me, I think sleep is a big key. Did you have an official diagnosis? Was it an irregular heartbeat or anything more specific than that? Yeah, it was a medical issue. Um, you know, everybody's kind of talked about it. I really want to go that much into it. It's, it's my kind of business. So, uh, but um, I'm cleared to play, and um, I took the proper time the out that I needed to be out for what was going on, and um, I'm feeling good now. What are some of your expectations coming into the season? Um, hopefully start off where we ended off. I mean, they're, they're, their team was on a high. They were doing great. Um, you know, how, how incredible to win an MLS Cup. Um, so uh, it, was, it was fun to watch. Um, the guys really battled like like warriors and, um, you know, brought the, brought the cup home for the city, which uh, which was, was the main goal of the, of the season last year. So hopefully uh, we can we can defend that um, and, and, and have another really good year and um, try to do something special. Were you officially cleared for game action, or do you have to go through a couple more steps before you get there? Um, as far as I know, I'm cleared for, for game action. I've been playing in games. Um, play 30 minutes one game, 45 another, and uh, the minutes will, will keep going up, and I'll keep pushing and training. Dr. Bruce Arena, was there any conversation going there regarding the national um, at the uh, Towards the end of the, the year, uh, I got a chance to speak with him a little bit about everything that was going on, and uh, we had a good talk. Um, I, know I owe a lot to Bruce. He's the one who first allowed me to pick me to, to be with the national team and, and to help me achieve my goal and dream as a kid to play in the World Cup and score in the World Cup. So uh, uh, it would be great to get back in uh, with, with the U.S. team. Uh, but, but to do that, I have to do well here, and that's the main focus is being here with Seattle and, and, and try to make, make an impact on the field here. Do you have to fight yourself at all to kind of speed this process up, or are you pretty good about kind of throttling down in, in, in a situation like this and just kind of taking it one step at a time? Uh, I mean, we have a good program. Um, you know, spoke, spoke with everybody, and everybody's on the same page, whether it's the doctors here, uh, um, the doctors with the national team, whether it's the 
training staff here or in other places. Everybody's on the same page in, in terms of how uh, I should be progressing. And as of right now, everything's is going great. Is the World Cup next year, is that on your radar? Is that part of the motivation for wanting to get back in and going here? Yeah, I mean, it'd be awesome. It'd be a dream to, to come true to play in four. And, you know, not many people have gotten that opportunity. But um, first, you got to qualify. And the team's in a tough situation right now. I think it's like a 52, 53% chance of, of qualifying to win the rest of our home games in at least one way game. So um, it'll be a tough task. But, um, you know, you're used to difficult situations in qualifying. Nothing ever comes easy. And uh, I think the boys will be able to do it again. Right before you went out, you and uh, Nicolas Sodero and Jordan Morris were really uh, creating a, a nice offensive triangle there. Are you looking forward to partnering again uh, in the attack this year? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was fun. Uh, it was kind of the missing piece that we needed, and I think everybody could see that, what, what Nico brings to the uh, to the team and, and how he you know, gets the ball moving and uh, is able to make things happen a little bit more for us in the attacking third especially. But also he's someone who works incredibly hard defensively. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. I mean, uh, while we were all three playing together, I was having a great time. Uh, I think it was five goals in three games or something like that. So uh, yeah, I look forward to getting back on the field and trying to make an impact and playing with not only them, but just the rest of the team. And, uh, you know, incredible what they did last year and winning, winning the last cup. So last year you came back in September for about a week and you were practicing. Experiencing the same issues, um, and so that, that, that forced me off and uh, to, to, you know, to, to do the right thing in, in terms of giving my body the, the, the right rest and making sure um, that I'd be better. So uh, that's what I had to do. I had to take time off, and you know, now I'm not experiencing those issues anymore. Edlin, you say you're in peace with you have done in your career, but there, there, was there anything that you were worried about or that make you sad during this time? No, uh, I feel good about everything. <laughs> you know, I've come from Nacogdoches, Texas. First house I lived in was a trailer house, uh, my grandma's backyard. So, uh, you know, come a long way, able to have a family, take care of my family. Uh, it's one of the biggest blessings in the world. So I'm at peace. I feel good. Hey, Clint, uh, several teams in the MLS have gone down to South America to part of their pieces and down there. Do you think that's beneficial for teams in the MLS to do so? And do you think that Sanders should try to do something like it? Um, I mean, it all kind of depends. I mean, the most important thing is, uh, you know, you got to get the work in, you got to get fitness in. Um, you you got to try to balance that travel in the right way because I think a lot of travel, especially for the older guys, uh, can take a toll on your body. You can find yourself getting tight and having muscle injuries uh, but you know it's always good experience to go down and uh, to see different styles of play and, and, and to play against top teams uh, just kind of depends on what was best for your team uh, at that time and what they need I mean it's not for me to say I'm you know I'm just a player so Clint, were you able to last couple guys were you able to consistently ramp up over the course of the winter were the little setbacks here and there I was able to uh, to consistently progress um, and, and kind of work on my fitness and make sure everything was moving in, in, in the right direction. Um, it was started off slow and had to work my way up and still working up now, but uh, feeling like I'm finally getting close. I'm feeling like, you know, 85%, 90% uh, back to full fitness. There were reports last September that you had had to have a second procedure just to correct that again, like you said, take care of your body in the right way. Um, what, what was that like? What, what did that look like in practice? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's always tough to, to miss time, to be out, be away. Uh, but, um, you know, just like any injury, uh, you have to, you know, work through things to, to get back on the field. And that's what I had to do uh, with this one. How did you spend your time when you weren't rehabilitating and you just away from the team? Yeah, I mean, when I try to be around the team whenever I could be, uh, you know, go into the games and, and, and support them. Obviously, I wasn't able to train, so I'm not able to make an impact there. But yeah, I spent time with my family. Was able to, um, you know, in, in, in the times that we were downtown, do some fishing, do some hunting, and uh, kind of get away from things. And then uh, now, just back focus on on the game and uh, looking forward to this year and, and trying to trying to trying to have a good one.